At UCOR, we are supporting DOE Oak Ridge Environmental Management's cleanup mission at East Tennessee Technology Park. At Oak Ridge National Laboratory and at Y-12 National Security Complex, our cleanup efforts are supporting current and future missions. K-1600, formerly the Centrist Building, it was turned over to UCOR about the end of September, September 30th, and we started our due diligence walk downs to get cold and dark and start sampling and radiological characterization. At this point, we've completed some of the primary isolations of the facility and we're preparing to do the secondary isolations and start our sampling activities. At the K-25 History Center, workers are installing exhibits and artifacts to prepare for a grand opening. The facility, located near the footprint of the former K-25 gaseous diffusion building, commemorates the site's role in the Manhattan Project and later the Cold War. It will include displays showing what life was like during the World War II era and how the site continued producing enriched uranium for defense and commercial purposes until the mid-1980s when the site was shuttered. Progress at the massive centrifuge complex continued in December. Workers are in the final stages of demolition and waste removal at the J-Lab and K-1023 area. Deactivation continues in the K-1210 and 1220 areas, and demolition plans are taking shape as deactivation nears completion in the K-1200 area. As much as UCOR's mission depends on tearing things down, we're also in the business of keeping things running. A lot of our systems are already installed, so we have to uh, we have to actually take measurements and, and make our make our piping fit custom to make sure that uh, we don't have to do any more uh, work inside of the red areas that we have to. We try to do as much outside, so we have to custom fabricate all of our piping to go in. UCOR metal workers fabricate parts and pipes to repair areas that are deteriorated and to create new processes. Whether it's water lines or tie points for wastewater filtration systems, the machine shop is central to keeping the UCOR mission flowing. There was a big step forward at ORNL's Aquatics Ecology Lab. With the housing structure in place, two 14,000 gallon tanks were installed in late December. The tanks will hold water from Lower East Fork Poplar Creek that will be pumped into structures to simulate the creek. This will enable researchers to study ways to effectively treat mercury contamination. Helping groom the workforce of tomorrow, UCOR staff talked with students at the Junior Achievement Get Hired event at Roan State Community College Oak Ridge campus. There, the students learned about essential skills they will need to find a job. Workers completed all of this and much more last month. Stay tuned to see all of the progress we make by following us on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter.